All right. Let's get this started, shall we? Oh, wait. There's no audio. There we go. <laughs> what did we have last time? Commander. We had you, Jano, because I lost my Baron due to really dumb reasons. High Priestess was eliminated, killed by Necro. Conscription gave me Knights and Spearmen. Oh. Well, I did not mean to send him out. But I think... Why is it so easy to hit the escape button? Why is it so easy to hit the X button out? I'm so thankful that didn't that happen now and not later. Shush, we'll pretend that didn't happen. Even though this is now objectively worse for me. We'll pretend it didn't happen. Uh, nothing worth recruiting. Like, legitimately nothing worth recruiting. But we have an old castle here. I'll recruit a batch of longbowmen there. Yeah. Old castle ruin, get some longbow. We'll transfer over a few more and we'll go and kill this son of a bitch who thinks he can just walk into my domain. And our ranged units should outdo whatever he's got. Yeah, we might screw off with the Necro Run. They only have one armor. Oh, Large Shield just auto-reduces the damage. Okay. Right. So we've lost. Instead, we're gonna just do this and just pretend that none of that happened. Forget that large shields auto reduce damage. Thankfully. Oh, sure, I'll take a batch of 10 archers there. If they touch this old castle, they're dead. I'll... I'll leave it be. We've got bigger fish to fry down here. I should go get my knights. That and I also want to get a baron so I can actually, you know, raise a small army. Well... I guess I'll leave my troops there. They might try and take it, they might not. But I kind of want to go kill the golden wizard and the merchant. I have heard that Overlord is indeed getting a season two. I don't know how I feel about this. Okay, he's gonna be a dick and take that. Ugh, why do I have so many horrors in this area? Is it like the Ruined Empire, or...? Well, mercy me, we have a High Lord. Screw me, apparently. We can't afford it because of iron. We're not going to be able to hold the old castle. I'm just going to assume he can't either. Mercy me, we've got a high lord. Unfortunately, we are just kind of screwed off anyway. Are these all captains? No, they're caravan guards. Okay. Everyone get into the time machine. Huh. Okay, he actually wanted to screw off. That's nice. Why am I getting attacked so constantly by horrors? Do I have, like, a Scion of the Void just sitting right next to me? Holy shit, that's a lot of gold. Holy shit, that's a lot of iron. 
we're gonna just start off by just dropping some longbowmen right there, and we're gonna just start claiming this region. Because, my god, this is hurting me. But I can actually afford my Baron now. Ish. I... I can grab a lot of swordsmen. I want to. I really want to, but it's just a bad idea. Screw it. We'll take some swordsmen. It'll at least dissuade them. I don't think so, because I don't even remember the cultist being able to summon this many. Like, whenever I play it, I'm always strapped for resources. Yeah, Cthulhu's punishing me for not being a, for not having a successful run. <sighs> we'll at least reclaim something. I really like how the Baron does his like recruitment offers. That always seems great. Hallelujah. We have a Baron. Ladies and gentlemen, we actually are in possession of a Baron again. We're in possession of a Baron. We're not gonna lose him. We have a bunch of free units. Hallelujah. Let, let, let's... Let's immediately go and kill the Banshee that's right there and it's gonna just destroy me. I have no problems with any of this. Why does up with this fucking horror? I don't get it. So many of you people. I should honestly go and grab my court mage. Why are there ghosts attacking my castle? Am I gonna literally lose my castle because of ghosts? Okay. Thank goodness. Well, I'm at least claiming some of my stuff back. Alright, 31 units. A horseman, two. Let's actually start moving you up here to the sea dogs. Tristram, we'll just be ready. You don't have many archers, but your troops are just pain and misery incarnate, apparently. Ugh. You're right, there probably is a crater nearby. Alright, Yano, let's just keep moving. Right, I could have just set up a watch right there. Hopefully you guys suicide your way into this force. It's a high lord, why doesn't he go into my service? Okay, you moved once. One, two. One, two. Two. And we will raise levies as additional guards for this place. And that's actually a decent amount of levies. You, since you can move the full three, will actually move back one. Because we're in a perfect position to actually fight him if he wants to advance. He doesn't. It's not bad. I will drop off a scout and a batch of longbowmen there. You go kill the sea dogs. I can't risk fighting you guys. I would love to go back and grab those coastal levy like hamlets, but I don't think I can really do anything right now. Only possible in Hamlets, specifically. That's weird. Ah oh well. Yeah, he's gotten away. I 
think I'm going to start working on setting up some of these hamlets at some of these locations. Yano, being my court magus... Oh, there are soulless up there. Well, they won't be able to take the citadel, because the two archers are technically enough to stop them. Technically. Yeah. You guys will just doomstack for right now. We're just going to start trying to push down south. Excellent. This year's conscription is fantastic, as is always. All right, three float cats. For now, we're just going to raise levies. I'll raise a fort later. No, I want to kill off the float cat horrors before they become an issue. But it says it increases the amount I actually gain. So I actually want to see if I can make use of that. Because if it gives me an increase in my income of anything, I'll take it. Also, did Mr. make an appearance again? Seriously. Alright. Up here to the coastal hamlet. Actually, what am I... Let's just start exploring with you. Right, there was the massive force down there that we kind of wanted to avoid. And we have alchemists. Well, alchemist, you'll actually be put in the citadel up there. There's a random formless spawn. In fact, because of that, I'm going to just drop a batch of longbow... No. Not a batch of longbowmen. I'm going to get a batch of tower guard up there, because I'm not going to have you lose that spot just because of reasons. Oh yeah, no, the alchemist is just sitting in there. He's not moving. I'm gonna raise a fort. Because I know it turns into a Mott and Bailey. Because that increases the amount of gold I gain. And it's also defendable, too. Now, I'm just going to make sure the tower guard will always follow Ugin. Yeah, I actually think the Mott and Baileys are worth it. My god, is that the entire reason why we're having trouble? Is it literally we just have a haunted city? Ugh. That's disgusting. How much are you actually making? I'm curious. Alchemist. Okay, just two bonus gold. I mean, it's not bad. Right, I could have just picked that up. And you're just sentry. You're not moving. He's just bouncing back and forth. What the hell is he doing? Anyway. Now we'll raise levies. So you guys can actually, like, defend yourselves. Alright, everyone together. I'm immensely curious of taking over the haunted city. I really want to. Most because I think it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Baby. It's a monk. Shakai. Monks are usually boring men who like to preach about El, the coming of the apocalypse, and how we are all going to die in flames if we aren't dead of the pestilence before that. They do have their uses, though, as they know the secret of creating good farmland from seemingly useless swamps. Oh, I think we have two swamps down there. A swamp up there. And a small army for me to drag you with. However, I will keep a contingent of spearmen behind. Shakai, please, head down south. It's time. It's 
time for us to drain the swamp. Yeah, it might be post-Empire. A bottle of demon blood. What did that do? You get infernal magic and fire resistance. Hmm. Can we recruit to the haunted city? No. Can't. Oh, you can visit the library, though. Research history of Elysium. Ages ago, Terra sent a group of large ships to explore and settle new lands, and that was how the first humans made it to Elysium. Not many records remain of Terra, but it is remembered for being the center of civilization, where greater magical marvels are constructed than anywhere else. One of the greatest wonders they constructed were the ships capable of crossing the void and exploring new planes, which resulted in the discovery of Elysium. This was long ago. This was so long ago that nothing remain that nothing remain of the ship except for the, from the pieces of wood that are on display in this very library. Terra was also a very peaceful place where people could travel between villages without being ambushed by wild beasts. The aggressive nature of Elysium must have come as a shock to the first settlers who probably didn't realize the danger that they were in when they saw a moose for the very first time. Luckily, the explorers were well armed and managed to survive long enough to establish a few villages, enough to get humans a foothold in Elysium. Since that time, humanity has come a long way, and now we have countless small villages and even a few major towns. Mines have been established where good ore can be found, and where the dwarves haven't already created a mine. The dwarves have been here longer and are the best spots for mining, but luckily they are not impossible to trade with, even though they are strange. Wildlife is still a large problem, and the attacks from beasts are getting worse all the time. In the long run, more forests must be cut down to spread civilization and keep the beasts away. But for now, we have to fortify the towns and villages as we can. Luckily, the beasts have trouble attacking fortifications, and that is something we must take advantage of. Huh. That was interesting. I actually want to transfer and leave a small contingent of knights and a few bowmen. Mostly just to keep it so we don't owe Herder lose a bunch of troops for no good reason. We can't raise levies, but we can definitely hold the line. The Baron has an item that allows him to do this. I don't think it's staying on him, though. In fact, I think I'm just going to move it over right now. Sorry. Jano. You currently have magical spores and a pendant of luck. I'll put this on the Baron. You can keep the magical spores, and we'll toss the vial of demon's blood to you because you can actually learn something from the haunted city of infernal magic. No, you can't, apparently. Well, that's... That's... That's a shame. Alright, we'll kick you out. Alright. We'll continue heading Shakai south and see if we can drain a swamp or two. I mean, theoretically, any commander can learn magic if you can somehow force magic upon them. Fuck. Baron, no. Not again. Please, let me kill it. I hate Ethereal so much. I hate Ethereal so, so very much. What's your chest wound? Praise Cthulhu, apparently. You know what? I'm going to drop another batch of swordsmen. 
right here for the next person to pick up. No action points left. Okay, that's fine. Yano, let's 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 catch up. Shakai, you're getting close. Oh well, there's the creeping doom. Unfortunately, we cannot deal any damage to the creeping doom as it currently stands without having Yano alongside us with the court Hamlet. And since at this point, it might as well keep these two together just to make sure things don't go poorly. We'll raise just a cursory defense. Hello, Hobergs. You have piqued my interest. Guess we'll run them through. Oh, yes, we can get another alchemist. So, this one will be placed in the Baron's castle, because that one can, like, survive. Okay, how is our range line doing? Our range line is high. Only the Creeping Doom didn't basically guarantee death and destruction. One sacred moose. And a bunch of it stuff in an ancient forest. Glorious. Can I kill a swamp ghost? Don't have this, like, be a stupidly high damage thing. Alright, let's hope Shakai and his ghostly magic can somehow kill them. Oh yeah, no. The Sacred Moose is probably the most dangerous thing that I've experienced right now. I'm not going to go fight it. Oh, can you cast Blessing? Oh my gosh, the monk can convert. That actually makes it really good. I want to fight you, but I know that that's not a good idea. And we're draining the swamps. First one is drained. Next one comes in two turns. I almost want to try raise levees again. But I know that's not going to work. Eh, we'll apply pressure. Hope he attacks us. Ooh. I mean, the Sacred Moose isn't actually that good if you have a massive horde. Did you take no damage? No, because you have a horde of culturalist. That's why. I guess we're going to keep pestering him right now. We'll keep pestering him until we can actually push him back. Because I don't want to attack into him. I want him to attack into me so I get first move. Wow! Wildlife. Aggressive wildlife. Only so glad we can just bottleneck them for a while. Go to, we have a bunch of knights available. Damn! Would have loved to get a nice witch. Ah oh well. Well, we actually have Villigo. Gonna transfer over the control of the knights, and we're just gonna go kill the wolves really quick before more ghosts are made. Drain the swamp, and let's start moving through. Oh yeah, no, I know I need magic casters. I can't afford magic casters right now. So, as it currently stands, I'm just going to sit here 
Because it takes several turns. I'll actually gladly raise a fort in a lot in Bailey. It's a nice hard point to defend. Currently, I'm in a massive, dire need of a caster of a kind. Like, any kind of caster will do. And here, we'll transfer everyone over. The Baron has a decent horde right now. Villigo, you can go back and center yourself, because you're not moving. I don't know why I'm not grabbing that farm. Excellent. Okay, we have enough.